How are these people still working in Hollywood? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, this is a different video for me because I normally don't review movies. I'm usually out there working hard trying to save our white brothers and sisters from black supremacy, but I, today I had to talk about this, y'all. I had to talk about this disgrace of a film and everybody involved should never get a job in Hollywood again. I'm talking about the disgusting, blatantly racist, trash propaganda film known as 2021's Candyman. But before I give my thoughts on the film, I have a special guest in the building. Uh, Richard Gibbler was supposed to be here, but he's out there right now at a rally protesting Black History Month. Shout out to that brother there, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep fighting for your, for your white brothers and sisters out there. But today, I'm being joined by special guest Marshall Blue. Give it up for him, y'all. I'm going to leave the link in the description to his channel. He's a, a very positive political brother, and he's a, he's a conservative also, so I had to have him on, and he's black. Okay, so to those USA, I don't mess with black people. Here you go. I got a black guy on my channel. So, Marshall, welcome. Thanks for having me on, bro. It's an honor. So, Marshall, uh, you saw the movie, right? Damn right I saw that piece of shit. All right, uh, tell us your thoughts on it, because at first I thought it was a parody, and I'm like, these people can't be serious. Only reason I went to go see it is because my wife dragged me out, but I had no interest in watching it, because as soon as I saw that it was a black hoochie mama director, I knew it was going to be a woke piece of shit. And that's exactly what yeah. it was. Police bashing, racist, woke bullshit. Hey, hey, I hear you, man. Look, I was going to walk out on the movie myself because I just I almost couldn't take it, but I know I had to review it for you all, so that's why I stuck around. Now, the scene that made me laugh but then disgusted me at the same time was the scene where I guess the so-called new Candyman is in the arms of his girlfriend. He's dying, and the police just bust in and just start shooting. That is just so exaggerated and inaccurate. Police just don't shoot people for no reason. You have to be either not complying or have a weapon. And that's most times that's what black people do. But this movie wants to make the police look evil and make uh, this candy man look like an anti-hero. It's disgusting. I almost threw up. It, it, it was I just couldn't take it. It was disgusting. He's a piece of shit. That's what he is. <laughs> and not to mention a mama's boy going to his mama's house all mad because, oh, you didn't tell me which hospital I was born and you lied to me. What a beta male. He's a beta male piece of shit. Then you obsess about a fucking ghost who wasn't thinking about you until you said his name in the mirror and now he won't leave your ass alone. You're sitting there going crazy and your hands fucking rotted off. You're a liberal piece of shit. That's a liberal move. You okay, Officer Jackson? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I'm just disgusted with, with this movie. Um, And what about the scene in the bathroom where all the white girls got butchered and, and the black girls survived? If that ain't the most racist thing I've ever seen, like this um, this director that directed this film, her name is Nia DaCosta. She she's from Brooklyn. She looks like 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 a hood rat, like she had no father in the home. Uh, she should be ashamed of herself, and she should never get a job as a director again. I guess she's directing something for the for the MCU or whatever. The MCU, I, don't get me started on them with, with their woke uh, crap. You know, with their pandering to every group, you know, the, the, the blacks and the LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, I'm just so sick of it. I was just so disgusted. Like, why can't we just get just pure entertainment anymore? Like, why do there always have to be a message in the film or, or this, this woke stuff, like you said? You know, I can't curse like you. I'm a Christian. But why why does everything have to be so woke and, and just give us some entertainment? They, they keep pandering to black people as if they're defenseless babies, but don't want to talk about black on black crime. Don't want to talk about all these fatherless homes. And then these crusty black boys grow up to be criminals. They don't want to talk about that. But they always want to make something about injustice and police brutality. Like, come on. If you flip the roles and it was black people getting killed like that, there'd be all kinds of controversy. And I'll tell you something else. The next time my wife tries to drag me out to see some trash like that, I'm going to give her a Tyson yeah. Fury fucking uppercut. I didn't say Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson's a piece of trash. The real champion is Tyson Fury. He's the greatest champion ever and he's white. But the next time she's getting a Tyson Fury fucking uppercut out of her shoes because that's what alphas do. I'm an alpha, not a fucking beta who bows down to their woman and gives in to their woman's every fucking desire. All right, alphas out for the fuck out of their women, and that's what we do. That's what I do. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Well, look, well, Marshall, uh, I appreciate your time, man. I know that you're a busy man, so thank you for coming on here and talking about this trash film with me. Uh, like I said, I usually don't talk movies, but I had to talk about this one because this should be ripped out the theater 
throw in the trash and never be thought of ever again. Jordan Peele, the director, they should be ashamed of themselves. Studios should never let Jordan Peele touch anything ever again. It, 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 it's disgusting, y'all. I just, I can't, I almost threw it right there. Garbage. Anytime, bro. Look, we have to stick together to save our white brethren from these affirmative action assholes. I'm sick of the shit. I'm a fucking patriot. All right? All right, my man. Peace out.